One successful assault down, the next already in planning. Ruka, Kang, and Rustild spend their nights just outside of the next mine, sketching their plans into the barren, dusty ground beneath them. Strike quickly and early, before they have much time to react to their first mine going down. That's Rustild's gut reaction. The faster they can topple the mines, the less chance they'll have at striking. But little do they know that those who are already made aware of the assault in the mines are prepping their own retaliatory strike. Usually when we rejoin our crew out in the wastelands of Kenshi, it's with Rustilt and wherever he is traveling, that's usually where the action is. But today, we open up on our outpost while Kenshi and the main fighting force are away. Welcome back to Kenshi, everybody. So, last we left off, uh, assaulting one of the Holy Nation mines, we got an alert that said that our outpost had an attack from the Holy Nation heading towards us, perhaps a counter-strike to our very first assault that wiped out one of their mines. They weren't prepared for us, and it showed. And now, we sit outside the second mine, right to the south of it, as we plan our assault on that. But in the meantime, they have decided to counter-strike in return, and here is that Holy Nation force. Seems to be mostly a bunch of Chosen Ones, which are pretty weak and unarmored, but in the center sit Paladins. Now the Paladins are the nasty ones, but I think we're gonna be okay, because we have hell raining down upon them. Let's move in a little bit, and let's see how well this assault ends up going from here. Ooh, ooh, that's way too fast. And as the harpoons begin to pile in, uh, nobody is repairing this, and they need to be. Can we please repair? This door is gonna go down quickly if they do not. But the harpoons are flying in, just sending the, the... I guess you could call it the meat of the force down. The ones that wear pretty much no armor. And now... Now the danger begins, because they're going to start piling in, and that concerns me. And I, I'd rather that not be the case, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have them run around. Let's bring them out here. See if we can basically bait them out of the gates. And if they can get fired on all the while, then maybe we'll live. Beep is down. I'm hoping he's okay. He's unconscious. Move back. I did not mean to grab you. You guys are going to go up here. Everybody can attack now, I think, but let's just let's keep moving. Green, I want you to move. And if we can just use the harpoons to our defense, uh if we can just use the harpoons rather to our advantage, then we'll be good. This is the war leader. If he goes down, we might be okay. And down he goes. He got harpooned. Your right leg is absolutely not looking good. There's still harpoons firing. Okay, down he goes. And more over here. I'm hoping he gets brought down sooner rather than later. All right, already back up. I just don't want to get harpooned. Yeah. And he got harpooned right at the very end. All right, Ciro, so let's grab Beep. Pick up Beep. You guys, I need to repair this right now so we can get this thing down. Ciro's get inside. I just want to lock out anybody who, who is uh, potentially sitting on that the other side there that could get up. All right, everybody else can start healing. And now as they wind, uh, as they slowly rouse, they'll start dying. Here's another one. The harpoons are kind of auto-turning weirdly. Oh, man. <laughs> Just harpooned in the gut. And the Holy Nation Assault has been defeated. 
All purely because we have a B team sitting here. Now, let's see if they have anything worth grabbing. Other than obviously the, uh, oh, we have a, let's, let's read that map. Everything is a shoddy grade. I'm going to drop that on the ground and move that over. And hopefully everybody is medicking. I want everybody to medic if they can. I need you to be medicking as well. So let's make sure you are. Let's put medicking at the top of your initiative here. Hobbs is down, but he's going to be all right. Ciros is all bandaged up. Wiki's okay. He needs some repairs, though. But he's all right. I don't think it's slowly getting worse. I hope it's fine. Let's go and just put Minnick owned in the bed here. There you go, Minnick. Heal up. Ciros doing his thing. Beep carrying Vermilion. Or Vermilion carrying Beep, rather. Do we have any repair kits? Or do we have them all on our assault crew? Probably everybody in the assault crew has it. Just stupid of me, but we'll have to take care of that another time. For now, be proud that we took care of them. You can see they crawled. Wow, they crawled real far before they got shot down. I'm assuming, yeah, this one here. He crawled from the doorway desperately to get away, leaving a small trail of blood until he died. Well, how fun that was. Okay. Ruka, why do you still have meats here? I thought I had you cooking. Uh, the, the entire Dust Bandit camp disappeared. The, the people, what, why are you carrying, who are you, put him down, who is that? Who is this man? He's just a high overseer. Why are you carrying him? Is it because we murdered him? But the Dust Bandit camp that I murdered and took over is gone. The fires, the beds, these beds are, are, these are beds I put down. I'm not quite sure why it disappeared, it just did. So we need to start doing some heals here. The sun is beginning to set, and Silvershade is going to be starting to move in. Hopefully, stealing away uh, a few a few folk. Let's drop a little bit. We don't need these swords hanging out. Just slam them into the ground. But this is where he needs to start striking. I don't want to make an assault on this place until I've at least made a few uh, kidnapping attempts and, and removed a few of their guards, even if they're not necessarily the strongest of them. I still want to see how many I can get rid of. So sitting on top of the mountainside, looking down at the mines, and with flies buzzing in his ear, Silvershade can see just exactly what he's dealing with. We've got a lot of slaves who are going to be operating against us initially. Each has about one or two guards, but the problem is that these mines out in the open are right outside their front gate, meaning we can't sneak around the side and maybe take out the miners earlier. Uh, if we swing out here... One, two, three guards up front. And it seems like one guard per group of slaves. Nope, two guards over here. And one of the paladins is super high level. And there's a dust storm. Wolf Den one, two, three has been wiped out. Somebody's been wiping out wolf dens. Uh, that's, the, that's the second one that's been wiped out in the past two episodes. Well, I think he's going to stay up here for a little while. Maybe wait for them to head in to sleep and not necessarily try and make an assault while there's so many eyes out there still. It's a dangerous move to try and do that. For now, I'll have to listen to the tortured shouts of the whipped slaves and the angry commands of the slave owners. Ah, seems like everybody's heading in now. Good, good, good. This is when Silvershade will start moving in himself. Give me that Naruto run. 
And the plan is to just knock out as many of the guards as possible. I hope, if we stay here for a moment, sitting up against this. One, two, there's still three guards up there. Hmm. I think he's gonna wait some more, a little closer now. Maybe wait for the sun to go down fully at the very least. If there's always three guards, then we're gonna have to try and uh, kite them back. Grab them while we can. Yeah, it looks like the three guards thing is gonna be just a fact. We might be able to operate and make our way up next to them without them noticing us. 83, we gotta take the one behind first. Don't, you literally just bumped right into him. Okay, bonk him. Good. I don't know why I can't click on him. We're gonna kidnap him. We're gonna make our way here, here, and then off to the, his immediate right and we make our way back. We did it. We got one. My, okay, I'm still carrying the body. Okay. Holy crap, we actually did it. That's one. No more sneaking, just run with him. That's really, really good. I was a little nervous we weren't gonna be able to, to scoop him up. Um, but luckily, he's so quiet. He literally makes no noise when he moves. And his dark clothing was enough to keep him blended in with the background since they have no lights to pinpoint where I am. I like to think that it's way darker in the <laughs> if this was a real place than it actually is. It's just light enough that we can see it as the player. All right. First things first, we're gonna drop him here. We're gonna loot him of his weapons. Ruka and Kang, very pleased to see that Silvershade has returned and with a prisoner. I just want to see if I can strip him of pretty much everything. He's going to be unconscious for a while. So let's move back. We'll have him sneak and then we'll once he's ready to be woken up. There we go. Oh, they're both getting up. Unfortunately, he's waking up naked. And they immediately shouted Hiver, I believe, which is unfortunate because he's not going to do. They're not going to be able to do anything about it. And we got the high overseer over here who's going to get brought down. And hopefully he's just, he's playing dead. He got hit so hard. He's playing dead. Are you not going to get up? He keeps playing. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Don't, 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 don't put him down. Nobody heal him. He's just unconscious and bleeding out. All right, let's see what happens here, because I want to see if I can kill him. Because he keeps just playing dead, and then that's causing problems. Sinful rat. Come on, up, up, up. There we go. Now he's going to go down. You know what? Close enough. Let him go. Fall, you sit here and watch him in case anything happens. We're gonna try and nab another guard. Swing back. We bumped into him, somehow they didn't notice. We're gonna thunk another one and kidnap his ass. And somehow still not be seen. Two guards, baby. Weaken their outer defenses. It's all we need to do. Silver Shade returns with yet another body. Put him down. And immediately send him back. If we can get three guards in this night, uh, I'm going to be happy. So Silver Shade's going to start sprinting back. Rain is going to loot the weapons off of this guy at least. 
Basically anything that's of value that can make him stand against us. It's got to come off. Okay, he's playing dead now, so let's get him up. Soon as he's standing. There we go. Yeah, you're going to regret that, pal. A lot. If your arm comes off, though, you're going to feed my dog, and I appreciate that. Cool. Silver shade. We can get, I think we can absolutely get this one here. Thunk him. And bunk him, baby. The old thunk and bunk. How many does this place have? 17, and there are at least three short now. 26 residents, so almost the double of the amount of like a one-to-one -one accounting of slaves and guards hungry bandits they're not gonna do much they can't really stop us if they want to chase silver shade all the way back here they're welcome to once the slaves start turning on their masters though I think that's when uh, we will kind of turn the tides of battle I think we might be okay to uh, make an assault attempt soon but I'm going to continue doing what I have been doing. Just keep stripping them. I'm going to send Silver Shade back in one more time. I'm going to see if I can find out where they mostly are sleeping. Are the starving bandits going to head inside? There's no guards. Maybe they will. No, doesn't seem to. That's probably smarter on their end. I wish I could dismantle their turrets. I feel like that would be a really kind of sweet thing to be able to do. We might be able to just free the slaves, actually. With everybody asleep? Oh, uh, they got two guards. With one in the back sleeping and a slaver who's here. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah, I can, I can start freeing them. Let's see what happens. Unlock his shackles. I hate if you fail, the second attempt is slower than the first. Set free, homie. What do you mean, oh fuck, fuck? I'm gonna get such a beating for this. Leave! No, what are you doing? He's locking it. He keeps re-locking it. Can I put his... <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, we'll try this one then. We'll try a different slave. He will, he won't go, he's too afraid. We failed this one. This 90%, oh, wow! We keep failing. No, he won't. <gasps> Who is this? Oh, it's a slaver. Uh, we're gonna kidnap him. He's a holy nation slaver, so I'm okay with it. I just don't know if we're gonna get through and out of here without them. No, the sun's rising. We gotta run. They still somehow don't see me. No, nope, now they do, now they don't. Now they do. Run. We're getting shot at with crossbows, but we're fine. We're gonna live. We actually kidnapped the slaver. They, the, the slave shouting of no, we mustn't leave our cages must have woken them up or he must have heard it. Came up to check, didn't see Silver Shade because mechanics and uh, we're, we get away with the slaver. The biggest criminal of all. The one who's causing the, the torture and sadness of these people. So now he has to die. They're all starting to get up. All the ones that are alive, anyway. I'm gonna wake up Crumble John. 
And here's Silver Shade. Put him down so he can get involved in the fight. Kill them all. Let them die. Remove their limbs and make them bleed out if you must. They, these, this guy actually has like standard great equipment. Oh, he's getting up. I want, I want our bone dog here on him. I want him to feel the pain of being attacked by a wild animal. Oh, he just he got smacked in the head and that is it. And then he just went down and he's going to die now from a head injury. Good. Good. Let him. All right. They've got a couple slavers here, a paladin and a slaver. Nobody over here working anything and no guards. I'm starting to see feel it's starting to feel like they might have a lot less than I thought. They have two roaming squads. I think we I think it's time to assault them. I think we make that judgment call. Silver Shade kind of shouts, makes some uh, a quick whistle for him, gives a signal, and they come running over the hills, weapons drawn, and they just move in. So if we look, likely there's going to be a couple of turret guards that we're going to have to worry about. Looks like the guards are moving. But yeah, they're going to see us coming over the hill. And they may not recognize us immediately. But after a little bit and they see some familiar faces, or at least faces they've been warned about, that's when they realize it's the Rust Bandits. But they realize too late. Perhaps they had an idea of, of who, was, who was attacking uh, when they woke up to a few of their men missing. But we didn't give them any opportunity to get their thoughts and their heads on straight. We just attack now. And the more fall, the more the slaves will join us and in turn bolster our own forces and defenses. Ruka, I gotta remember to switch your bag when you're doing this. It's much easier for you that way. Kang actually trying to take on a ton of them at once. Not exactly going, doing the best. But, um, holding his own. No doubt about that. Alarm has been multi <laughs> raised multiple times, and Kang, despite kind of going one on one here, is doing fine. I think we're going to send the bone dog. I heard the turret. We're going to send the bone dog up there. All right, well, kill him. Kill the one crawling away and don't let him. Crumble John's going to take... Oh, well, Crumble John went down. Bone dog. He's going to guard. Silver Shade is, is not feeling so great. But he can bandage himself if he wants to take them a minute to. First aid yourself, my boy. Get your leg up and running. And we have a couple of slaves that seem to be willing to work with us. Ruka's dead on the bottom now, too. Who are they having such a hard time fighting? Just a paladin? Everybody's, I think everybody's fine. Yeah, all the slaves are starting to pick their locks. They're trying to get out as fast as possible. Taking out their shackles. Everybody, medic, please. Silver Shade here. Unlock his shackles for him. Don't say, oh, no, 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 no. You're fine. Yes, I know you're supposed to stay in cages, but you're not going to. 
You're all freeing one another. Whether you join us or stick together matters really all not that much to me. What matters is that you're now free. We're limping again, but it's not that bad. We're going to remove some of the weapons of those that I know can cause us problems. Armor as well. We need to start bringing them, uh, bringing our boys and girls back for some food. I do like how all their armor, I mean all their weapons have been taken off of them by the slaves though. Well. They've healed up some of their own. We're gonna have to have a, a round two now. I'm gonna take out the one on the ground because he's trying to take foot shots at us here, which is kind of funny, um, but also kind of a pain. Let's take a look at the map. Still says there's residents here. Uh, so we're gonna wait to see. And it looks like these guys are freaking badass. I love this ex-slave with weapons look standing behind the feet of a, of a dead man behind him. It looks like we do have a bucket zookin. Not as good as what I'm wearing though. For at least uh, our dear boy here. Another one awake. Not sure why he's even trying. It's going to drop down pretty quick. And again, when you make yourselves known, we're gonna fight back. As are they. You again? Oh, sir, we never left. Ooh, you got a nice stab on Kang there. And on Rust Hill. Escapee? Oh, my sweet princess. Little do you know the kind of hell we rained upon your, your kind today. Just waiting for this holy mind to be considered dead. We'll let you all basically bleed on the ground until death if we must. Kill him. <laughs> I like what? I think with this we're gonna we're gonna start marching back. I think we're gonna con consider this a win. Um, let's head back to our camp and rest first. We need to grab our sleeping bags and everything anyway. It was over there, right? Over here. Everybody at your own speed. Just want to get as many of them back as possible sooner rather than later. We'll kill off the ones that are still alive. And these slaves are going to follow us. So we're going to have a nice little support uh, of some not well armed, but uh, morally well armed, I guess, group of ex slaves. The bone dog is going to kill. Oh, you're trying to rescue your friend. That's really sad. Or is that like a it's a dead dust bandit. What are you? Why are you carrying a dead dust bandit? You're going home with a dead dust bandit. I'm sorry. I just don't know why you would. The bone dog ain't going to let you, though. Eh, that's yep. And he ate your he, he, he ate your leg. He ate your leg. How do you feel about that? Likely not very good. All 
All right, let's get people lying down. We're gonna rest for a little bit. Who's starting to starve to death? I can't remember. No one. Thought I saw somebody starving to death. But I'm nuts. I think we can call this a very successful assault. Even if it doesn't say so now, those who are still alive in that mine aren't going to be alive for too long. Whoa! Whoa, they're joining us! What the hell? Okay. Hang on. I did not know we were going to get a couple of so our servants. I don't have the food to feed them right now. Though their stats are decent because they they were once slaves. Dialogue. Oh my god, I don't believe it. Freedom. Well, I've decided. And then one runs off. Ah! <laughs> Freedom! I may be weak and half starved. The other one's freaking out. Can this be real? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We did it. We did it. We're free. And then uh, it may not be worth much, but for now, from now on, I will fight alongside you. They both two decided to fight alongside me. The other two decided to run free. Two new mouths to feed. But the legend of Rust Hilt wasn't just a legend to them. They got to experience the warlike freedom that he brings to others that are downtrodden in the wastes. Those stories are true. 